Hello friends and welcome back. It's Terry with Terry's Mailbox presenting today on behalf of the All to New Educators Block Hop. So I've used the grid stencil and the inked lotus stamp. So you can see I started with the grid stencil and applied embossing paste through it and then let it dry. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking the Lagoon Reinker and um, applying it directly to um, the stenciled background here. And again, I'm trying to make it run and trying to make it very bright. So again, um, you know, using the reinkers is a great way to get um, dramatic and deep color. So again, still just, you know, trying to make it run and adding it on here. And again, I want this to be the background and I'll just let this dry after I've got it completed to my satisfaction. So again, I love these deep colors and I love the mixed media type look that you can achieve here. So the next thing I did was I grabbed the Ink Lotus uh, stencil and um, stamped it. And then I'm going to grab my um, Altenew watercolor brushes and just paint um, in the background, watercolor in the background. So I'm using the, uh, you know, sun-kissed and the, you know, the bright yellow and different colors here to achieve the watercolored look. So I really love how bright, um, how bright these colors came out. Can you tell I like bright colors? <laughs> so again, still just kind of watercolor in here, filling in the background. <clears throat> I was really happy with the way this one turned out. So again, just kind of adding the deeper color or the color straight from the brush marker um, to the base of the flower or to the, you know, the darker parts and then taking my, um, my brush with a little bit of water on it and, and uh, spreading it out there. So here I am just adding the um, the sentiment, and again the sentiment came from um, you know the same stamp set, and I'm going to heat emboss that. Obviously, I've stamped it on the part of the card that does not have the embossing paste on it. So then I'm just applying clear embossing uh, embossing powder and just heating it up. And then I fussy cut out the uh, the lotus flower there, and I'm trying to decide exactly where I want to put it on the card. So it kind of curled the edges up to give it a little bit of dimension. And then what I'm doing is just using some of my white glue um, to attach it. You know, because I've got that mixed media type background, um, you really need to put some white glue or something to um, adhere it. So there's my final card. And I attached it with the black frame onto an A2 base. And you can see here I'm using my Altenew Artist Watercolors, the black, to do some splatters on the top to just kind of, you know, add a little extra to it. So again, here's the final card. I hope you've enjoyed, um, enjoyed your visit here. Again, this is Terry with Terry's Mailbox, and I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Blogger, and YouTube. Come follow me or subscribe.